the number one requested item was the latte. I'm gonna be making that right now. And it's super easy, super fast. The thing about the latte is I do have an espresso machine and I have a milk frother. So those are the two equipment pieces you might need. Without a milk frother, I've also just put it in the microwave and like it works just as fine. You don't need the milk frother. But the Nespresso machine, I don't really think you can get around having that. But I'll go ahead and I'll link one down below in the description just so you guys can have one. I'll try it. I'll put the one I have and then I'll also put a more like an expensive one because I don't think you really need like an expensive one. That was, I bought this on sale, like very, very sale. So there's really no need. They make smaller ones and they're just as effective. So this is the milk frother. It's very simple. You just put the milk in here and it has a line. And then the bottom line I've noticed is about half a cup. In the middle is three fourths of a cup and the top line is one cup. I don't know if you'll be able to see the lines in there, but there are little like markings. And all you do is put the milk. Don't exceed the max line, which is the one cup line. So I normally try and gauge it right in the middle. This is the milk I'm using today. This is just the original soy milk. People ask me why do the calories change for the latte every day and that's very simple. Either I'm using a different kind of soy milk, I'm using the vanilla soy milk, I'm using the unsweetened soy milk, or I'm putting in more of this. This is the vanilla syrup. I buy this at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. You can find it. I really like this brand but you can also order it on Amazon, so I'll go ahead and I'll link this also down below. So now that you have your milk in there, you just seal it up, and then it comes with this little thing. You just put it on there, plug it in. All you do is just hit the button, and you just wait for it to go. So I just go ahead and I take the pod, I put it in there, close the lid, turn it on. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour about one-fourth of an ounce in here. Just like a little drizzle. You don't need a lot of this. It's very, very potent stuff. And now we're going to take our frothed milk. And we're just going to pour that in. And there you guys go. There's the latte recipe. It's super simple, super easy. And you'll have a delicious latte. Hi guys. So now it's around lunchtime. Um, I got dressed because I have class tonight, but we're gonna make some lunch. I don't know what to make. Um, it's kind of cold, like in my apartment, and I wanted to make an acai bowl, but it's a little cold. But I might still make it anyway because that was one of the requests. People wanted to see the acai bowl again. Um, I have a video on the acai bowl, but I'll gladly put it in this video as well. Um, it might not be as in depth in this video but I'll tell you like the ingredients and the basic logist of how to make it so I think that's what we're gonna do now because I also have an obscene amount of strawberries in my refrigerator because I went to the farmers market and I bought like three baskets of strawberries and I didn't realize how many strawberries that actually is like I will show you guys it's an obscene amount of strawberries and I have to somehow finish them and eat them all. That's way too many strawberries for one person. But I have them, so <laughs> we need to figure out something to do with them. This is the Handy Dandy Vitamix. I have the Vitamix Professional Series 500. Highly recommended. I used to have the Ninja before this, hated it, returned it, and I bought the Vitamix. First things first, I think I'm gonna cut the strawberries. So these are all of my cut up berries. So I'm just gonna set those aside. I'm going to break it up. It's gonna be really cold and your hands will be frozen. Next, you just take your acai packet, break it up a little bit, cut it, and throw it in there. You then put just a little bit of water. Start off with a little bit of water. You can always add more water, you can't take away the water. So start off with a little bit of water, turn it on frozen desserts or the highest setting that you have. It's better to blend it at the highest setting. And then you just quickly tamper it all together until you get the consistency that you like. And that's basically it. Like I said, I have a full video that kind of explains it in a little bit more depth. 
This is just kind of a quick overview on how to do it, but that's the basic gist. So I'll be back when this is fully blended. So I went ahead and I mixed it all up and it should be like a ice cream slash sorbet consistency. We just make sure to get all of it because we're not here to waste any money. So I'm just gonna take my acai and spread it around. Obviously, I'm gonna put the strawberries on it. That's a given. So I'm just gonna take it and then try and put it cutely. I think I have too many strawberries, <laughs> but that's okay. Some hemp seeds. I really like putting hemp seeds on things. Next, I have agave. I used to put honey on my acai bowls, but honey got weird. I don't know why it just would like freeze on top of the frozen acai, but I've noticed agave doesn't do that. It's 60 calories for one tablespoon. The agave, I'm just kind of gonna dri drizzle all over. Lunch slash breakfast, beautiful acai bowl. Now I'm going to go and devour this because it looks amazing. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys for dinner. Um, I have class, so class days are normally a little weird, but we'll see what I decide to make for dinner if I come home and if I decide to make a dinner, we'll see. So I am back from class. It's late and I'm starving. Like, So I decided that I want to make a scramble. Um, I feel like it's just like the easiest thing that I could make right now. And it also isn't too heavy of a meal, in my opinion, to eat right now. So I have these frozen breakfast sausages, so I'm going to go ahead and warm these in the microwave. So I went ahead and just rinsed off two of these like spring onions, and I'm going to go ahead and chop them. It's probably very hard to hear me because the microwave is going, but my issue with my classes is the fact that they are so late-ish or I get home late and I'm taking the earlier ones which are four to seven it's just a really like weird time to be at school and like it's weird it's like do you eat before or do you eat after and then when you're like no I'll eat after you are ravished so that's kind of at the point that I'm at right now I'm just ravished this is all the spinach we're going to put in our scramble and obviously everyone knows spinach cooks down but I do just kind of like to give it a rough chop. So now we have our spinach, we have our green onions, and we have our sausage all cut up. Turn this on. It's already like 8 p.m. I don't like to eat like full carb meals. It's not bad. I mean, you can do it if you want. I've just noticed that I feel better if I don't eat fully like carb meals past like 5 or 6 p.m. So the first thing that I'm gonna throw in is the sausages. Then I'm just gonna throw in the spinach and the green onion. And then throw in your eggs. I'm gonna put some salt, pepper. So good. There's our delicious scramble. I'm so excited to eat it. I'm literally gonna eat this whole thing. I'm gonna devour it, it's gonna be great. So yeah, that, that's my dinner. Normally I would put some avocado on this, I don't have avocados right now, but I'm gonna enjoy this. 